home which is called the horizon the horizon is a three bedroom two bathroom multi-section home uh, let me um, read you the square footage of the home it is uh, 1661 square feet and it is a 32 by 56 so with that being said let's start the tour oh my goodness gracious oh well just got water in my shoes you guys but that's all right anyway so this is the um outside of the home i get you all a really good look here uh right there of course you would have your um dormer over the front door and as well as the uh windows you also have the transom windows um in the living room area as well so uh, apparently they have a huge sale on this model so um, definitely contact them for more information concerning that matter. All right, so let's walk around the outside of the home. We'll get you all a better feel so we can get on the inside. All right, so right there would be the home's information. So uh, feel free to pause the video if you want to take a closer look at it. guys so this is the rear elevation of the horizon of course the one thing that sells me on this home already is the uh the uh glass patio sliding door so you can add a deck or a patio onto your manufactured home if you choose to do so you also would have a uh, porch light as well right there you would have your you have a plug-in outlet you have a water spigot right there of course, this will be your back door. And you can also uh, put an optional um, light right there too uh, by your uh, back door. But I imagine you can have them put it there or you can just you know buy you one from like a home improvement store or someplace like that and put your really nice uh, porch light up there. And of course, you would have a dryer vent as well. And as well, also, you would have a transom window. So I think that might be the master bathroom but we will check it out once we get inside. All right, you guys, so let's go inside and let's see what the, let's go inside and let's see what the Horizon has to offer. I am so excited to show you guys the inside of this home. So let's, uh, we'll see. Let's see if I can get inside here without stepping in the big puddle of water. <laughs> uh, it's all worth it, you guys. It's all worth it. Now, before we continue on, I just want to give a very short disclaimer. I do not sell these homes and I do not work for the dealership or the manufacturer of these homes. 
I record these videos because I love and enjoy touring these homes, and I love sharing all the homes that I view with each and every one of you. If you have any additional questions about finding this home, or pricing, or additional specifications, the dealership's contact information will be down in the description box. Thank you. All right, inside we go. All right, you guys, so we just stepped in. Okay, so the first thing you are greeted right here is with your living room. You have plenty of space in the living room. Let me just give you all a moment to take all this in. All right, so of course, we just came into the front door right there. You would have your cutout right there where you can uh, take off your shoes and, you know. But you know me personally, uh, this does have carpet, but me personally, I would take this floor and I'll bring it all into the living room. You know, I like to have, um, like to have you no know, wood flooring or vinyl flooring in the high traffic areas. And right here, you would have a nice residential front door. Look at that. Look at that nice front door. And of course, you would have your storm door right there as well. I really love the knob on the front door right here. That's very custom. So, of course, right here you have plenty of space for, you know, an entry table or, you know, a bench. There's no like what you will see right there. So, again, place where you can take your shoes off it. And hang up your car keys or your raincoats or jackets, or whatever, or hats. All right, so here. Right here, you would have a floor plan of the home. So you can pause the video and you can take a look at that if you want. And of course, right here, they give you more information about the Horizon model. And you can pause the video to look at that if you want as well. All right, so let's check out the rest of the living room and then we'll move on to the rest of the house. So of course, this is your living room. Again, you have all the natural light that's coming in. You have your uh, beautiful fireplace over there. Now this would be an electric fireplace. Now I'm not sure if you can get in a wood burning fireplace, but I imagine maybe you could. But I'm definitely asking them, ask the dealer about more information concerning that matter. They can give you more details if you can or not. So again, love, the, um, love this mantle. Uh, plenty of space up there for a big flat screen TV. All right, so you would have your air vents in the ceiling, and as well, you have your recessed lighting. All right, so one more good look at the living room, and we'll check out the dining room and the um, kitchen. All right, so over here will be your dining room. Look at this gorgeous dining room. Plenty of space for, um, uh, you, you could put like an um, eight-seater or, or you could put a six-seater, which is what they would have displayed right here. So, I really love this, this uh, wall. I really love the paneling on this wall. It, it really gives it a very modern touch and it adds a lot of good drama to the um, dining room area. It's definitely the main focal point of this area in the house. I'll put like a nice buffet hutch right there, or, you know, uh, you could put uh, two curio cabinets on the end, you know, whatever you like to do. They would have a recess light, but of course, I imagine if you really want a chandelier, I imagine you can um, add that as an option as well. All right, so another good look at the dining room here. And of course, this is what we saw on the outside. You would have a very nice um, glass patio sliding door. It's absolutely perfect when you're doing cookouts, birthday parties, and, you know, you know good family gatherings. So, you know, all you have to do is come right from the kitchen right here. You can prepare you a nice, prepare you some, uh, uh, some good barbecue chicken and rib steaks and you can take it right out there to your grill or smoker that, that would be on the patio very nice all right let's take a look at the kitchen here 
Look at this gorgeous kitchen. You would have your center island. Uh, you would have a plug-in outlet. There will be, I think it will be on either side of the columns, which would be right there and another column over there. Let's get y'all a look at some cabinet space. Got plenty of space in your cabinet. Of course, you would have your uh, sink. This would be your uh, farmhouse sink. And of course, you would have your gooseneck faucet. You have your dishwasher over here. Let me get y'all another look at this center island area. Really huge center island. Now they have uh, two benches right there, but you can definitely put four bar stools if you wanted to. You might be able to put like a couple extra on either side as well. You have your uh, very nice uh, chandelier over the uh, island and sink area. Look at that. They would have um, LED um, light bulbs in that chandelier. Look at that. Okay, so let's turn our attention to the rest of the kitchen. Okay, so over here you have uh, your stove area, you have your refrigerator. Of course, you have your beautiful backsplash on the back of the stove. You have your microwave. Very nice. And you have cabinet space. Get y'all a couple more looks at some cabinets. See that? And look at the attention to detail that they paid to this area. Look at there. You have the very beautiful craftsmanship on either side. It goes all the way up there. And it also has some on the other side too. Very nice, very clever. Let's get you all a look at some drawer space. All right, so this is all the stuff that comes with the home. All the um, owner's manuals and everything. All right. All right, let me look at look here. And of course, you have a nice uh, stainless steel refrigerator. Oh, it's actually ice cold too. I wasn't expecting that, ice cold. <laughs> All right, another good look. All right, let's look over here real quick and then we'll check out the, the utility room. So of course, you would have additional space right here. You have a floating shelf. Uh, you have your uh, um, um, your stained um, uh, shiplap behind it. I like the fact that they include the dark co the uh, dark colored shiplap right there, and as well as the lighter colored shiplap. That's very nice. I would have never thought to do that. That's very clever. All right, get you guys look at some more cabinets. You see that? All right. Of course, I'll probably put my my, um, my coffee bar, my coffee maker and stuff right here. There's plenty of room for small kitchen appliances along the uh, cabinets and stuff. So overall, this is a very nice kitchen. Oh yes, you would also have your LED uh, recess lights in the ceiling throughout the kitchen as well. All right, let's take a look over here at the utility room. So this would be your utility room. Okay, so the first thing I noticed, you would have your uh, central heat and air furnace right there. Your central air and heat would run right through there for the whole house. Uh, you got uh, additional cabinets right here. Uh, plenty of space where you can uh, fold your laundry and, and what have you. Get y'all a look underneath here. See that? Okay. All right, let's look over here. You have additional space over here in the corner. You got cabinets up there. You have cabinet. Um, you have a counter right there. All right. And of course, you got plenty of space right here. Now, if I imagine, if you don't want this space, and if you want, if you want to put like a big chest size freezer here instead, I imagine that you can definitely opt out of this and put you a nice uh, chest size freezer there instead. It's something to think about. All right, so over here, you'd have a place for your washer and dryer. Your dryer will go right in the corner over there, and your washer will go right here. And of course, you have additional space above there. 
All right, so this is how it will look from the back. And of course, that's your back door. Let's see what's in here. Oh, wow, look at this. You would have a, you have your utility room. Um, let's see, here we are. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I guess you guys can see it enough, all right. So right there, you would have your water heater access. That'd be the access to your water heater. Be right in this pantry right here. This is very clever. I would never have thought to put a pantry right here. So not only you have all that cabinet space out there, but you would also have a nice pantry. Very nice pantry. And of course you got shelving over there. All right, you guys, well, we have more house to look at. And of course, this would be your um, electric panel box. I know some of you guys like to look at that. All right, so let's go check out the rest of the house. We got more to look at here. All right, so let's go start with the bedrooms and the guest bathroom. So, okay, so right here be your hallway. Have plenty of space in your hallway. All right, so I'm thinking we're looking at the bathroom first. So let's take a look at this guest bathroom. This will be your gorgeous guest bathroom. There we are. Okay. So right there, you'd have your, you have double sinks in the bathroom. Of course, you have your uh, drawer space. You have your, um, you have your two mirrors. I, I, I do love the, uh, the uh, wood trim around the mirrors. Of course, you have your Hollywood vanity lighting. Of course, you have your uh, wood floors. Uh, you have your commode, obviously. <laughs> all right. Let's get you all a look at the ceiling up here. You have your air vent, you would have your exhaust vent, and also an, uh, an additional LED recess light. All right, so this would be your uh, shower. See if we can get a good look at it. Excuse me. All right, so this is your shower. Got plenty of space in this uh, uh, tub and shower combo. Again, it's very easy to maintain and keep clean. Get y'all a look from another angle. Okay. All right, so let's go check out some more areas of the house. All right, so this is your first bedroom, bedroom number one. Now this home does come with the, um, as you notice, it does come with the papered walls, the paper drywall that has the, um, the decorative paper that you could choose from that would have the um, batten strips. But I imagine that you could, um, opt for full sheetrock. If you're really interested in that, make sure you contact this dealer for more information concerning that matter. Their information will be down in the description box. All right, so here's your uh, closet area. Nice, adequate size closet space. All right. All right, so let's go take a look at the other bedroom. All right, here is the second bedroom. You guys see that? Get y'all a view from another angle. All right, let's check out the closet. And here is your closet space. All right. So we're fixing to go to the master bedroom, you guys. But if you've made it this far in the video, and if you are new here, um, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell anytime I upload content like this. That way you stay notified. Um, make sure you share this with your family, your friends, and your coworkers. Anyone who loves manufactured and modular homes. And if it's your dream to purchase one of these homes, you are in the right place. With that being said, let's go check out the master bedroom. All right, so we are now entering the master bedroom. I love the fact that they would have like a little hallway here. 
So it, it really gives you a lot of extra privacy. Let's take a look at the master. All right, you guys, so this is your master bedroom. Now, as you would notice, you would have your um, LED lights in the ceiling. Of course, you would have your uh, vents in the ceiling as well. Let's get y'all a look from another angle. Look at how much space you would have in there. There's plenty of space for a king size bed. Uh, you could put a queen size. Uh, there's plenty of space for a dresser. You know, you can put you like a comfortable uh, reading chair with a lamp. Hey, that's at least that's at least what I would do. But let me know what you would do with the space down in the comment section. I would love to hear. It. All right, get y'all one more view, and then we'll check out the closet. And you know, guys, I'm completely fine with carpet in the bedrooms. It's just the uh, um, the living areas that that I that I would prefer. Um, the uh, wood laminate flooring. But let me know what you what what you what would you prefer? Would you prefer a uh, carpet throughout the house or would you prefer um laminate flooring throughout the house? Let me know down in the comment section. I would definitely love to hear it. All right, so let's go check out the master bathroom and then we'll close out the video. All right, so we are now entering the master bathroom. All right, so here's your master, master bath. Now, one thing I notice is the kitchen has the uh, white cabinets, but the bathrooms, they would have the, the um, light gray color cabinets. I like that. I like the fact that you can really customize um, the, cabinet, the colors of the cabinetry. All right, so of course you have your uh, two mirrors. I really love the uh, cedar paneling that, that would be surrounded by the, uh, that would surround the mirrors. Very nice. Of course, you have your two sinks. Plenty of space for, uh, to sit your um, toiletries on. All right, get you guys to look at some cabinet space. There you are. Let's get you a look at some drawer space. That's a beautiful thing about being here in person. You can, you can really um, do hands-on. But watching it on YouTube is nice too, but it's nothing like actually being here. It really isn't. Okay, so let's take a look at the, uh, here's your garden tub. Plenty of space in the garden tub. Again, you can relax after a long, stressful day at work. Okay? And of course, you would have your window. And you would have the uh, cedar paneling surrounding the window as well. All right, so let's take a look over here. Again, pay attention to detail. They carried the cedar paneling uh, on the majority of the wall right here. And it also surrounds the transom window. All right, so of course right there, you would, in this corner, you would have your commode. Now it is open to the rest of the bathroom, but, but hey, you know, some of you, it doesn't matter, so. And me personally, it wouldn't really matter, but some of you might prefer for it to be closed. I'm not sure if you can get it enclosed or not. Again, dealership's information is in the description box. They can give you more details. Oh, let's take a look over here. You have additional cabinet space. You guys see that? And uh, last but not least, you would have your walk-in shower. Let's take a look at this shower. Look at this tile shower. Now this is a lighter color tile, but nevertheless is very, very nice. Again, you have a bench where you can sit down on. Again, this is hand laid tile, hand laid. And of course you would have your Rainmaker shower head. See that? And you would also have your knob. Now this is how it would look if you're actually standing in the shower. So if you're looking at the rest of the bathroom, this is how it look if you're in the shower. 
Hey, soak all your troubles away. That's what I say. <laughs> soak all your troubles away. All right. All right, you guys, so let's go back in the living area and let's close out the video. All right, you guys, well, that was the Horizon by Live Oak Homes. This is a three bedroom, two bathroom, multi-section, double wide manufactured home. Again, I do not sell these homes. I do not work for the dealership or the manufacturer of these homes. I record these videos because I love and enjoy touring these homes. And I love sharing all the homes that I view with each and every one of you. So again, if you're really serious or interested about this home, you have to reach out to the people here at Wayne Fryer of McLean. They'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. So, all right, you guys. Well, it's time for us to move on to the next house. We have a lot to cover today. So I'm going to end this video right here. This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central, your central source for manufactured modular home tours and more. I will see you all in the next video. You all take care and have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Thank you.